Hello everyone, this is Polish Professional Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we'll continue working with the dress for Inga. Last time Inga tried the mock-up on and we drew all the needed lines on it. I remind you that this is not a finished pattern. We still need to work on it. Have a look at the sketch once again. The design is pretty complicated. There will be a yoke on the front. I drew it on the mock-up. There will be seams here on the front. These parts will be cut separately and the pleats together with the skirt. Today I will try to make patterns for the front and the back. I will show you how to change a mock-up into the pattern for this dress. It's not easy to do it. Be very attentive. This is the mock-up we use for drawing. First I need to cut the center front. I'm cutting the fold we made when ironing the mock-up. This is the center back. I remind you that I used just one half of the mock-up for drawing. I can throw the other half away. This is the half we'll be working with. Notice that we are working with the more complicated designs now. I need to cut the extra piece of the shoulder seam. I also need to alter the shoulder a bit, making it more biased. You should always do it after closing the chest dart. You can do it in advance. I want to make the armhole a bit deeper. This is what I'm doing now. Have a look at the mock-up once again. The back is tighter than the front. That means that I need to move the side seam a bit closer to the front. I don't want the chest dart to be that close to the back. I need to cut the center back seam allowance. I don't need it in the pattern. You already know a lot of useful techniques. You know how to change a basic pattern into the one for different designs. I promise you to work with more complicated techniques. I do give my promise. I want to move the side seam at least for 2 cm. I will make this edge more beautiful. This one is beautiful and this one is not. I made the back wider and the front tighter. You can do it before making a mock-up. Next I need to cut these tucks. This is how the pattern looks like now. The pattern should be absolutely flat. It is. We will use this mock-up in the future work.
у нас край ткани, this вот is the front. ткани это центр переда. Центр I'll переда. Sign it. Вот здесь у нас центр this переда, is also вот the center front. Переда. Значит, на кокетке I remind you that this is the yoke. I should add at least 2 cm for the bottom stand here, 7 mm for the seam, and 3 cm for the blanket. I'll sign that I need to add 2 cm here. The first thing I need to make is the yoke. You can draw the yoke before you start cutting. I know that I am better at cutting than at drawing, so I'm not going to do it. This is the waist tuck and this is the chest dart. I want to make the chest dart a bit wider. Anyway, I'm leaving a small opening here. I want the yoke to be beautiful. I remind you that there will be small parts of the chest darts in the yoke. The bust of the customer is pretty big, so we can't avoid making these darts. Now I can start cutting the yoke. Have a look here. Before cutting the yolk, you should open the chest dart. I forgot that I had written here that it should be open for 1.2 cm. We need to do it in order to make these parts more loose. I made the dot opening wider. I'll show you everything. There will be no opening here. Do not forget that we need to make drop shoulders. I want to pay attention to these details once again. Please be very attentive. We made an opening here in order to make the armholes more loose. It will make the dress look more stylish. This is the chest dart. It was closed first and then opened back. This is how the yoke looks like. The pattern for the yoke should be absolutely the same. We just need to add 2 cm for a bottom stand. The chest dart will be closed. Here it is. Have a look here. Just this small part of the yoke shouldn't be closed. This is where I want to move the chest dart. I know that what I'm doing seems very complicated, but actually it's not. I'll show you everything. Let's start working with the yoke. First, I need to add 2 cm for a bottom stand. I remind you that I will need 7 mm for a seam. That means that the width of the blanket will be about 3 cm. I need to pin the mock-up and outline it. This is the first detail. We don't need any sharp angles here. Draw smooth, beautiful lines. Oh, I also need to trace the dart. It's impossible to move this part of the dart. 
the item won't fit you well without it. That's all for today. Next time, we'll continue working with this dress. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos, press the like and the bell button. Thank you. Goodbye.